Succession made its highly anticipated return to HBO with season 4 in March, which also marked the show's final installment. As viewers get closer to its dreaded finale, actor Kieran Culkin has finally addressed a long-standing blunder. The actor stars as Roman Roy, the sarcastic youngest son of Succession's late media mogul Logan Roy, Brian Cox. As the show explored the character's romantic escapades and his tension with Jerry Kelman, J. Smith Cameron, it's hard to believe Roman was first introduced as a married father. While his family has seemingly disappeared from the plot, fans questioned this huge glaring blunder. During a recent interview, Culkin explained the plot hole was a redirection for his character, who was given room to explore his sexuality by making him single and child-free. The actor told Variety, it's, not, Roman's, kid. Not his wife, either. It was in the pilot, and after it was picked up, it was his girlfriend, and she had a child. I'm wearing my real wedding band in the episode. I was excited about the idea of having a kid, and the kid was like seven or eight. Culkin admitted, it was a little disappointing, but I think the idea was that it would just give them more freedom to play with the character. Don't miss! Susanna Reed forced to intervene as GMB guest brands Ed Ignorant, Watch, Paul Burrell refused to chat about royals on Emma Celebrity, latest, Meghan Markle felt second fiddle in coronation plans, expert claims, insight, they had mentioned to me, even before we shot the pilot, about questioning what Roman sexuality is, and we don't know what it is. He continued, but it put something in my brain, and I was like, okay, but I'm married and have kids. They were toying with the idea that she's aware that you have sort of hang-ups sexually when it comes to monogamy, and might be more fluid, but we don't know what that is yet. It's yet to be seen if Roman's wife and child could potentially make a surprise appearance before the series finale. The end of Succession was confirmed in February during a New Yorker interview with showrunner Jesse Armstrong. The creator stated, there are a few different aspects. 1. We could have said that as soon as I sort of decided, almost when we were writing it, which I think would be weird and perverse. We could have said it at the end of the season. I quite like that idea, creatively, because then the audience is just able to enjoy everything as it comes, without trying to figure things out, or perceiving things in a certain way once they know it's the final season. He added, but, also, the countervailing thought is that we don't hide the ball very much on the show. I feel a responsibility to the viewership, and I personally wouldn't like the feeling of, oh, that's it, guys. That was the end. I wouldn't like that in a show. I think I would like to know it is coming to an end. Succession seasons 1 to 4 are available to stream on HBO in the USA and on Now TV in the UK.